Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is my max building countdown number 9. But before that please subscribe and like this video. This is the countdown number 9. Why I made this countdown video. I did this because at the exact end of the countdown I have been playing this game for exactly one year. The Primitive Era Game I would like to know if in exactly one year of playing Primitive Era the buildings will be maxed or not. But I don't think it will take a year or until the end of the countdown I will max out all my buildings. Because currently the only buildings left are 2 Beast Trap Level 21. 2 Beast Trap Level 22, Water Place 3 Level 4, Charcoal Depot 3 Level 5, Stone Yard 3 Level 9, Traveling Merchant Level 21, Altar of the Sun Level 24, 2 Farms Level 16 and 2 Purifying Pools. And in this video at the preparation day I prepare the Stone Yard 3 Level 10 and used 32.7 million pelts, 163.6 million woods and 25.7 million gold. I also include the 2 Beast Trap Level 22 and used 25.8 million woods. 18.7 million stone and 9.5 million gold each beast trap and the level 6 charcoal depot and spent 36.4 million pelts, 47.3 million stone and 13.9 million gold. All in all at the preparation day I spent 69.1 million pelt, 215.2 million woods, 84.7 million stones and 58.6 million gold. Let's go to our subtopic. Our subtopic door this video is the Dino Island migration and Dino Island power preparation. First is the Dino Island migration. When the Dino Island opens there are 7 days notice period and after that, there are also 7 days registration period. Here you you can have a chance to migrate to other region and join clans who registering the Dino Island event. This migration process is not like the regular migration. This migration didn't require you a migration token and also didn't require the permission of Paramount to accept you in their region. You don't need to drop your power if you want to migrate. But you need to be accepted by the clan leader of the clan you want to join because in this process you will apply directly to the clan if you want to migrate and join them on Dino Island. Here before you apply you also need to your old clan, no march queue outside and no troops on which doctor. Second sub-topic is the power preparation. Since in the description of Dino Island your clan will be match up to the same clan power. That's why you need or your clan need to lower the power so that your clan will not match up to the strongest clan on Dino Island. In this way you can guarantee to have a fair matchup and fair battle in clan to clan fights. This process your clan avoid the thing they called hollow power. High power in figure but weak on battle. If you already have AT9 troops, throw your T8s and below. Cause that T8s below are not useful on the Dino Island. And it gives you false power in the event. And if you have much or high power or counts of T9 troops and want to reduce your power. Put it on the Witch Doctor. So that after you enter on the Dino Island you can still heal that T9s and use it to the event. But don't worry on the troops inside the Dino. There is special troops there to be used in extra. That is called Season Troops and that's AT11 troops. That will be available if your clan already capture the specific building on Dino Island. That T11 troops will automatically increase on the function on Dino Island tab. Let's go back to our main topic. At the building day in this video. I upgrade my prepared buildings and also the other buildings. I upgrade the other buildings like the Altar of the Sun level 25, Traveling Merchant level 22, Water Place level 5 and 6, and the two farms level 16 to level 25. 
and that buildings I got enough points to unlock the ninth chest of Greatest Continent event. And in the building day alone I spent 140.3 million pelts, 143.5 million stones and 65.7 million gold. All in all from preparation day and building day I spent 209.4 million pelts, 215.2 million woods, 228.2 million stones and 124.3 million gold. On those resources I used you noticed that I spent 200 plus million each resources. And that make me homeless tears of joy tears of joy. But still think positive because in the next building day maybe I can save some resources cause I think I only need to unlock the 8th chest of the greatest continent event. Because the only building I have left are 4 beast traps level 22, water place 3 level 6. Charcoal Depot 3 Level 6, Traveling Merchant Level 22 and 2 Purifying Pools. And it will not reach after the countdown ends. But it will take a few more weeks because on the next building day I will only get the 8th chest in the Greatest Continent event so that the Ancient Scroll in the chest reward will not be wasted. And that's all for our video. Thank you for watching. Babouche.